Oh hey, it's me, Mrs B. Are you ready to play times tables bingo? Then let's get ready to smile and learn. So for times table bingo, you're going to need two different coloured pieces of paper or card, whatever you wish. Some scissors and a coloured pen. First thing we're going to do is fold the card in half. This is going to make our bingo cards. And we're going to snip that in half. If you're not sure about using scissors, make sure your grown-up is around to help you. And if your grown-up's not careful with scissors, make sure you keep an eye on them as well. Then we're going to fold the purple paper that I've got today, but whatever other colour you use, in half. And then in half again, so we've now got quarters for those of you who know about fractions, but that will be in another video. I'm going to cut the strips along the fold line. Again, being really careful with our scissors or keeping an eye on those grown ups. We know what they're like. So now we're going to fold the strips in half and in half again. So again, quarters for those of you who know about fractions. Open that out and we're going to cut along the fold line there. Again, as before, it doesn't matter about accuracy at the moment. We just want those individual cards. Open that up and on the fold line, cutting again, just like that. Now, on these sheets of paper, we're going to write the answers to the three times table. If you're not sure, you might want the facts on a screen or print out school books somewhere nearby okay so now what we've done is we've written out all of the facts for the three times table what we need to do next are grids on our cards we've got two bingo cards and each one is going to be a bingo grid oh, i need to find a ruler why am i not ready mrs benton oh there it is so now we're going to draw the grid on the bingo card and again, as before, doesn't matter for accuracy. If you like to measure out, then that's fine. Get a bit more maths in there as well. Do a bit of measuring. But I'm just roughly drawing a grid for eight squares or rectangles as there will be. And I'm doing in half, you can see, and then splitting into eight parts, roughly equal. So what we are doing now is writing out just various three times facts on each card. But really important to consider here, you can't do the same facts on each card because that's gonna mean that those cards will match for each person who's playing the game. If we mix up some of the facts on each card, then it's going to make a more interesting game. We've got some the same, so we can see three times three here. Um, can I see any more? No. So let's carry on, what are we missing? One times, two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times we haven't got. Eight times three. Nine times, ten times, eleven times, twelve times. So now I can put three different ones here and it doesn't matter if they're on this card because that's where we're going to have the competition setting for the bingo card facts um, and answers. So I'm going to choose, um, let's go for two times three. Let's go for 12 times three again, and let's also go for six times three. So when we've got the two bingo cards made ready, and we've got all our answers, we need to mix those up. So a bit of a shuffle, or just throw them all down and gather them all up in a different order, it doesn't matter, however you wish. But just make sure that they are mixed muddled. And when you've mixed them all up and you're happy, we're going to turn them face down. Then we're going to take turns to play the game. Now, for the sake of the camera, I'm going to read my number facts upside down. So, mm, does that make me a bit strange or does that make me really clever that I can read those times tables upside down? We'll see. So, going first, I'm going to turn over an answer and see if it matches any of the facts on my times table bingo card. I know that nine times three is 27 and I've got that so I can match that. Brilliant. Miss B, your turn. Three. Have you got three on your bingo card? 
one the times top. three is three. three. And reinforce that as well by saying the facts as you put them down. I might say, as I think I used to say to my girls when they were little learning, if you can't tell me that multiplication on the answer, then you can't win that card. Next, 18. I know that, ooh, nine times three is 18. Is that right? No, oh, it means I've got to put it down then. Miss B, your turn. 12. Have you got 12 on your bingo card? What do you think, which number fact in the three times table equals 12? That and if one. you're not sure, count up. This one. Are you sure? Mm. No. Put it down. You don't know. Put it on this side. Okay. So any we can't answer, we're going to put to this side. My turn. Nine. Three. Nine. I know that three times three is nine, and I've got that on my card. Miss B, your turn. Six. Ooh, which number fact equals six? Two times three. Well done. Have you got that on your card? There. Good spotting. Well done. So what we've done is the cards that we didn't win, we've turned back over and we're going to try again with those. So my turn, 18, try again. I worked it out before, it wasn't nine times three. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and that's five, six, lots of three. Yes, I win that one. Okay. Miss B, your turn. 12. Which number fact equals 12? I'm going to count. 3, 6, 9, 12. So how many lots of 3? 4. 4 lots of 3. Well done. Have you got that on your card? Yeah. Excellent. All the cards are gone now. So what we're going to do to decide who is the winner is the person who has won the most uh, answers for their fact card. Or whoever fills their bingo card first. I can see I've only got one. Miss B needs to get better at her three times tables. No. I'm the winner of that game. So we hope you enjoyed playing the times tables bingos game today. Give us a like and subscribe if you did. And in the comments below, if you can figure out what language I'm saying goodbye in today, we might give you a shout out next time. So from Mrs B and Miss B, adios.